Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to make a leg warmer or you can make it for your arms too. It's so easy to make and I use this yarn, Nako Ombre, it's a new yarn. Um, you can use any kind of yarn you choose, that size 5 yarn, I think it recommends 3mm hook but don't look at it, okay? Uh, you cannot uh, crochet it with 3mm hook, it's just a <laughs> Turkish <laughs> a thing, I think. I will use 6.5mm crochet hook and uh, if you are ready please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's start. start with a slip stitch then chain 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 13 just turn your chains we will work into this back bombs back loops yarn over skip two into the third stitch insert your hook grab the yarn and pull it yarn over pull through from two loop three loops sorry all the loops that's the half double crochet now keep making half, half double crochets Three, four, nine, ten, and that's eleven. Uh, don't count this first two chain as a half double crochet I have totally 11 half double crochets chain one and turn I'll make half double crochets again but I will only use back loops yarn over insert your hook into that back loop make a half double crochet two three four Ten, and that's eleven. Chain one, turn. We will make the same thing again and again. Just make eleven half double crochets. Uh, if you want, you can make uh, this band here smaller or longer. It's up to you. Uh, I will make totally 24 rows uh, if it fits uh, to your leg and then it's okay uh, uh, be sure about of course be sure about to have um, an even numbers of rows I will make 24 rows and turn I complete 24 rows and put them like that. It's my beginning point and I finish here. I will insert my hook from this first stitch here 
take this yarn, pull it and make a chain, insert in the same place and take only back loop here. Make a slip stitch. Insert both loop, back loop, make a slip stitch. Both loop, back loop, slip stitch. I will just keep joining. That's the last one. Turn your work. It will look like that. Now starting from here, uh, we will just make double crochets. Chain one more. You see this line and this line between these two line, uh, it's a two row actually. We will put three double crochet here. I will just put one for here, one for here, and one into here. Okay? One, two, three. Now into the, this next two row here and here, I will put three more. Yarn over, insert your hook here, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull through from two loops, yarn over and pull through from second two loops. I made two and that's the last one okay I will just keep making like that put three double crochet for two rows I'll see you there I'm at the end of the row and now I will not join this uh, is teach here <laughs> I couldn't find the word um, I'll directly insert here and make a double crochet and into the next one make one more double crochet and one more I will just keep making like that and you can put a stitch marker here uh, with this way you cannot um, uh, lose you, where you uh, start and I will keep uh, making double crochets and turn like that spreadly I will make totally one two uh, tomorrow uh, four row I'll see you at the end of the row four I'm almost at the end of the row four if you Look, this stitch like that. I will put a decrease here. One, two, three, and four rows. I will put a decrease here. Sorry, I will show you slowly. Yarn over and just start for a double crochet. Yarn over and pull through from two loops. Leave it like that. Yarn over again and into the next stitch. Make it one more time. I have three loops on the hook. Just yarn over and pull through from all the loops. And that's our first degrees. Then I will keep making double crochets for the next four rows. Uh, when I uh, when I will finish 
the next four rows I will make a decrease again I want to show you like that yeah uh, that's my first decrease here that's the first one then make one, two, three, four. That's the second one. One, two, three, four. And I made a mistake here, I think. Let me count one more time. One, two, three, four. Yes, I made it uh, into the fifth one. <laughs> That's a mistake. Then one, two, three, four, and I have one more. I totally made a four degrees. Let me count my rows: three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. I made a mistake here. Uh, don't mind it, uh, just make uh, four rows and make a decrease at the end of the row four. Uh, you will totally have 16 rows with this way. And then we will make just one more row and it's 17. I will repeat these mi mistakes, of course, because I want to make mine uh, same but you will just make the other way. I'm almost at the end of my last row. That must be row 17 for you. You see, I made my last decrease here and I'll keep making double crochets. And here, I'll make one more double crochet, you see, I have one stitch here and then my decrease. I will make a half double crochet here, then make a single crochet into the next stitch, then make a slip stitch and close this row like that. I want to show you one more time. Make a half double crochet, a single crochet and a slip stitch. Okay. And now we will make the uh, ribbing again. I want to show you here. You know I use half double crochet here, but here I will use single crochets. Make 12 chains. Level 12. Turn your chains, skip one into the next one, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Next one, make a single. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Ten. and we have one more here and it's eleven that's uh, our beginning point here I will insert into the next stitch and make a slip stitch 
and then insert into the next stitch and make one more slip stitch then turn skip these two slip stitches we will make single crochet starting from this first stitch but uh, use only back loop insert here make a single two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven chain one I will turn my work like that I will just turn my crochet hook around the yarn show you one more time and make my single crochets into the back loop again three four five six seven eight nine ten and don't forget this that's the last one I made my last slip stitch here I will insert into the next one make a slip stitch and into the next one make a slip stitch again turn skip these two slip stitches starting from the first single crochet make your back loop only single crochets and I will keep making like that uh, just um, don't miss any stitches here I'll see you when you reach here I'm at the end I will make two more slip stitches here turn back skip two slip stitch and make 11 single crochet and now I will join this two turn your work put these two together insert your hook into this first loop grab this yarn pull it chain one insert into same stitch just take the back loop make a slip stitch sorry take both loops back loop slip stitch both loops back loop slip stitch keep going and last two two make a chain cut the yarn just grab a yarn needle Now this tail cut here. 
you. And that's it. And it's finished. Maybe one ball of yarn will be enough for these two or a little more than one ball of yarn. And uh, I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Swiss Crochet is my Instagram, Pinterest and website address. Please don't forget to take a look uh, at my Instagram, uh, sorry, website address too. And uh, thanks for watching me. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.